Welcome to a snapshot of Adaptive's high dose rate surface brachytherapy module. To begin, our HDR surface brachy module has regulatory clearance with FDA 510K approval and a CE mark. We provide cancer centers with an in-house solution complete with software, 3D printer, and filament materials, all of which have been fully validated for use in radiation oncology. Through integration with a clinically commissioned TPS, you can optimize the fabrication process through digital design, reducing the time and skilled labor required to produce an applicator for clinical use. Let's walk through the advantages of using a 3D printed patient-specific surface brachy applicator. As mentioned, using our software to design surface brachy applicators overcomes the challenge of time-consuming manual fabrication methods that often require some creative arts and crafts, which can only be done by highly experienced staff. Accuracy and precision are superior with digitally designed 3D printed applicators because they are patient-specific and conform to the exact anatomy, thereby improving dose uniformity and patient comfort. 3D printed applicators can be produced at a fraction of the cost of traditional applicators, such as the Freiburg flat. And you can reduce risk or vulnerability if a manually fabricated applicator is broken or lost because of the speed with which a new 3D printed applicator can be produced. Now, let's take a look at our software. From the home screen, select the Surface Brachy Therapy Applicator module. Once open, you can import patient information from your TPS into our software. Software uses the TPS to gather the necessary patient DICOM data that is required. Pertinent patient information will populate in the top right of the screen. Additional patient info will appear by hovering your cursor over the patient name. This allows you to ensure the correct data was imported. The next step is to identify the applicator. From the drop-down menu in the Select Structures window, you can choose your body structure, which is taken from the TPS and based on the patient CT scan, and then select the structure that is used to create the applicator, in this case, the nose. The software's available features allow you to select how many catheters you require and the uniform distance between each catheter. You can easily specify the surface distance as well as change the orientation. And finally, you can manually change the tunnel radius depending on the catheter size you are using. In the latest version of our software, we have added many new features, which we'll go through now. One of the new features is located in the 3D structure visualization window. You can select a structure you'd like to see, in this case, the PTV, and click on Update 3D View. The structure will appear and the transparency can be adjusted by using the slide bar. You can do this for any structure that has been imported into our software. For example, we can also show the body structure. Now, you can see the body and the PTV along with the brachy applicator and the corresponding catheter trajectories. This feature was added as a direct result of customer feedback and serves to provide another level of confidence when creating applicators in our software. Another new feature is the brachy curvature mode. This is useful when dealing with complicated anatomy that has a double curvature, such as a scalp. You can simply click the curvature mode and our algorithm will accommodate for more complex cases. Now, back in the normal view, we can go through the process of designing an applicator. We've improved the functionality of our software to make it more intuitive and guide you through each step of the design workflow. So when you're done with one step, you simply click on next. In the first step, we will generate trajectories. You may notice that certain portions of the trajectories appear as red lines. This occurs when our algorithm detects that the radius of a curvature may be too steep and can result in a catheter or source becoming stuck. You can manually fix these areas of concern by clicking on the nodes and slightly adjusting them to smooth out and correct any problem areas. The next step is trajectory shortening. This allows you to shorten and stop any tunnel as needed. Again, this was added to our software as a direct result of customer feedback. You simply click on the green node at the end of each trajectory and continue to do that until you're satisfied. Then click next subtraction. Once the trajectory has been shortened, you can also add countersinks to the ends of each tunnel, where the height and radius can be manually adjusted, as seen here. Adding countersinks to the ends of trajectories softens the tunnel exit and entry points for easier catheter placement. By clicking the subtract button, you can see how the tunnels have been generated. In this case, the tunnel has been stopped partway through according to the parameters that were set, and countersinks at the ends of each tunnel were generated. The next step is tunnel labeling. Simply select the patient labeling button, which will turn green when activated. Then click on the applicator where you want to place the tunnel numbers. You can move labels as required or delete them. When satisfied, click the Apply Labels button. 
Each of these labels will be printed directly in the applicator to aid in catheter placement. It's important to know that any of these steps can be skipped if not required. You simply click next and move on to the next step. Now the applicator design is complete and you can continue with the approved workflow, which includes printing the applicator, scanning, planning, and treating the patient. Thank you for watching a brief overview of our software in action. For an in-depth demo or for a quote, please click on one of the links provided below.